I look forward every week to coming to the class. Uh, it's part discovery, it's part learning from others and listening to their stories. And, uh, and of course, more, very importantly, is my own self-discovery. So this is the second class I'm taking, and it's just, I have learned an awful lot. And I just found that I have poetry in me, it just kind of flows. But I wouldn't really have known that if I hadn't taken the class. When I joined Stephen's class, I had trepidation. I, I think I was 63, and I, I, had, I sort of dabbled in poetry, and I didn't know what to expect. But Stephen provides such a safe space to explore what we have inside of us. It's part of my life, and I've gotten in touch with my creativity, as well as sometimes it's like therapy. You hit on feelings that you didn't know you had um, because you're digging. Stephen makes us dig deep for stuff. It's not always about, you know, the first time you saw a swan or anything like that. He has a way of getting you to go inside yourself and dig up stuff. For me, that's sometimes 70 some odd years old, but you get to it and you get to the feelings that went along with it also. What's been great about doing this for uh, consecutive years is seeing the growth in students. I've had some students that started off from the beginning that are still with us uh, and still attending the classes every single week. And just to see themselves grow as writers and as poets and to see the confidence in their writing as well as just to see uh, the confidence they have in themselves. And I think that it really does. I believe that art has the power to transform lives and that definitely happens in the My Life is Poetry class. He uh, is probably one of the best teachers I've ever had, and I'm now 65. He has such a generosity of spirit. It's like he gives his whole self. And I feel like he, he listens so carefully to each of our poems. We're all bringing our gayness to the table, and we don't have to hide anything from anybody. We're all LGBT, and whatever the feelings or whatever the experiences were, we're sharing. And we also know what it was all about for the other person who might be reading that poem. It makes it important because everybody else has their own special classes. Being in a setting with men and women like myself and noticing their creativity and their struggles, but yet coming together, um, was motivating. I, I think it's important for uh, LGBT people to have uh, places and a class that exists whereby we can express ourselves. It's just been a very good experience. Anytime Stephen offers the class, I will take it. You know, without being didactic, he just kind of encourages the, the poetry to flow. There is no hard and fast rules with line breaks. So basically, where you want to put a line break, you can. He's so with us, and he makes us feel like we are something very special. You know, I have the motivation, but it's, it's even greater when you get to class, and you listen to the others, you know, sharing. And, and that's what I needed. If there wasn't a class, I wouldn't pick up a pen to, to write or even pretend to write. Thankfully, at the culmination of the workshops, there's been a final reading that is at the Renberg Theater, which is, I think, a 300-seat theater that almost uh, always fills out. I know one year that we had a standing room only. And it's great to see that so many people turn out to support uh, the poets on stage or just to hear the voices of poets they don't even know. And that desire to want to know more means that it's a good piece of writing. I live in a senior building where they provide activities if I choose to participate, but I generally don't. But this is one that I take a shower for and get dressed, and it's poetry night. It's one of the happiest evenings of the week, and I look forward to it. I think everyone feels that it's something that they didn't realize they had in them almost until they had, had the freedom and the atmosphere. I just feel honored to be in the room and hearing these stories, and I'm happy to help them find their voice to express their, those stories. At 65, I no longer come to the class afraid. I know that I have something.